How to draft a broadcast contract. If you've created an independent television show, or even a podcast, and want to build a larger audience, you may want to enter into a broadcast agreement with an established broadcast company to distribute your creation more widely. At its heart, a broadcast agreement is a license to distribute your intellectual property. Under copyright laws, this is an exclusive right you possess as the creator, and anyone else who wants to distribute your property must enter into a license agreement with you. You can draft a broadcast contract fairly simply using plain language that will have just as much legal effect as a complex agreement created by an attorney. 1. Negotiating your agreement. Get a feel for the company's standard agreement. Many broadcast companies, particularly if they are well established, will have a standard contract they use in most situations. Don't think that just because the company already has a standard agreement, that means you can't suggest changes or refuse clauses that don't fit your needs. Companies do recognize that these contracts are not one-size-fits-all, and will require adjustment to fit each situation appropriately. Determine what material will be covered by the agreement. You and the broadcast company must agree on the length of your show and how often it will be aired. This may include restrictions regarding the content of your show. In most cases, you retain the rights to your intellectual property, you are simply providing the broadcast company with permission to disseminate it to an audience. Your material may include copyrights and trademarks. If you have a trademark name, phrase, logo, or other image, you must separately mention it and provide a license to the broadcast company to use your trademarks in conjunction with your show, such as in station advertisements. If you have questions or concerns about your intellectual property rights, you may want to consult an experienced intellectual property attorney for advice. The broadcast company may want your finished show delivered in a particular format. If so, this should be negotiated and included in your contract. If you have to buy software or upgrade existing technology to render your show in that format, you may want to try to negotiate to have your payments increased to accommodate this investment. Outline the basic scope in terms of the agreement. A licensing agreement assigns limited use of your intellectual property. In the case of a broadcast agreement, you are allowing the broadcaster to distribute your property in a specific way, through specific channels. For example, you may want to enter into a broadcast contract with a company that owns several different radio stations. However, your show will only be broadcast on specific channels, or to specific markets or geographic areas. Many of these terms will be defined by the broadcast company by necessity. The company doesn't have unlimited resources, and has a set slot your show will occupy. One of the key points of negotiation concerns whether the broadcasting contract is exclusive or non-exclusive. With an exclusive deal, the broadcast company has all rights to broadcast your show and no one else can broadcast it. You can expect to get more money for an exclusive deal. However, you may prefer a non-exclusive contract if you want more flexibility, or if you're just starting out. For example, if this is your first broadcast contract and the company only broadcasts to a limited geographic area, a non-exclusive agreement would enable you to negotiate with broadcasters who had a wider range or who broadcast in other areas. You may want to negotiate fees or other compensation if the broadcast company is unable to air your show, such as if your show is preempted by breaking news. Discuss the agreement's duration. A broadcast contract can last for a specific period of time, or its duration may be tied to the number of shows you deliver to the broadcaster. You also must determine how the agreement can be terminated. For example, you may negotiate 14 episodes of your show to air weekly. This would mean your contract could last 3.5 months, however, tying the duration of the contract to the number of episodes allows for some flexibility with programming and scheduling. Typically broadcast contracts allow either party to terminate the agreement at any time with a certain amount of notice, such as 30 days or 2 weeks. As the producer, you want as much advance notice as possible if the broadcast company wants to terminate the contract, so you don't put work into new episodes without a broadcaster. Decide how and when payments will be made. The revenue stream generated by your broadcast contract is perhaps the key component of the agreement. Payment may either be in the form of a single license payment for the entire contract, or in the form of royalties made in periodic payments. The structure of your payments will differ depending on whether the broadcast company is paying you royalties based on a percentage viewership and advertising revenue or a flat fee per show produced. If you're getting paid a flat fee, you probably also want to negotiate a kill fee, under which the broadcast company agrees to pay you a lesser amount if you've done significant work on a show that is never aired, or that is cancelled for whatever reason. If you're being paid royalties based on the broadcast company's income from airing your show, you should negotiate the ability to audit the company's books periodically to ensure the company's payments are accurate. 